I'm sure you guys have all heard of wireless mobile phone charging. Well, the wireless technology behind it has been around for a long, long time. We actually used it for the past 30 years in electric toothbrushes. Yes, it's the same technology that charges your electric toothbrush. However, over the last couple of years, manufacturers making mobile phones have implemented that technology. And only just recently, the likes of Apple have actually used that technology in their latest iPhones. However, the likes of Samsung and so on have been doing it for a number of years now, since the S6, I believe. But what if you had an older Android phone or iPhone, but you wanted to enable wireless charging? Well, it's really, really quite simple. All you need is a wireless charging receiver, as well as a charging pad. And that's all you need. You can hide the actual receiver behind your mobile phone case. It just sits nicely behind it. It's very thin as well, so it doesn't really get in the way. Anyway, we're going to be looking at this range of wireless charging that we have here today. My name is Matthew, and you're watching another review by the MXQ Project. So I'm sure you guys as well have come across the term QI wireless charging. Now the QI is basically a standard that's been adopted by the majority of manufacturers producing either these receiver pads, mobile phones with the actual wireless charging built in, or maybe that you've seen car manufacturers even making these products with wireless charging built into them. It's purely a standard, so every single manufacturer can produce products that are going to be cross compatible with each other. So there's no going to be ever a chance where you maybe walk into a coffee shop, for example, and maybe there is a table there with wireless charging built into it. There's never going to be a chance where you put your mobile phone down and it doesn't work. That QI standard is to ensure cross compatibility across all devices, etc. So let's set this up on this QBot P20. This is actually a brand new budget phone and it's really quite nice actually. I'm gonna be doing a review on this very soon. But for now, let's set this up to charge wirelessly. Now we have three different receivers we can use. We've got the micro USB, which is gonna be suitable for this P20. We've got type C, which is actually um, a, a newer type of port that you see on certain mobile phones. It's been out since 2014, but we're only just starting to see this on Android phones just now. Uh, the old Corbix 2 I did a review on a couple of weeks ago that had a Type C connection, so this would be suitable for that. However, that already had wireless charging. And finally, we've got the iPhone connector for the Lightning port. So that's compatible with the iPhone 5, 6, and 7. So the first thing you need to do with the majority of these charging pads is you need to go and grab your original mobile phone actual plug. So here we are in the UK, I've got my three pin plug ready to go. And the actual pad just comes with a, a you know, a USB cable to plug into it. And then the other side obviously goes into the pad itself. Now this pad we see here is actually quite a fancy one. It's quite a nice one. It's probably one of the higher quality pads available that you can buy. And I'm gonna leave the link to, in the description to exactly where you need to find all the equipment we're showing just here today. Now this is uh, equipped to actually charge fast as well. So if your mobile phone's designed to have fast charging, most phones with fast charging are wirelessly enabled. So this will work with your phone. So you've got a Samsung S8 or whatever it is, this will work with it and it'll enable the fast charging. So all we need to do is we've got everything set up and then all we need to do is place the mobile phone onto the actual pad itself. And there we have it, it starts charging. So this video is brought to us by wirelessmobilephonecharging.com and you can go out and check them guys out with the links in the description. You can find all the parts and everything we've seen in this video today, you can find it on there. And this will be compatible with the majority of old Android phones as well as newer ones as well, as long as obviously you can match up your charging port to the correct one. So if you've got micro USB, which is the majority of Android phones, then you need that one. If you've got a type C, uh, you need that one. And if you've got an iPhone, well, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Just choose the iPhone one. And guys, don't forget to grab yourself the actual wireless charging pad while you're at it. There's a couple of versions available. They all look pretty smart. And as well as that, you've also got in-car chargers as well, which charge wirelessly. 
So go and check those guys out today. So let me know what you think of wireless charging in the comments section below. Is it worth your time? Is it, or is it just a bit of a gimmick? Anyway, guys, you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. My name is Matthew. Don't forget to check out the website, mxqproject.com, the Facebook group, and of course, Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and we shall see you very soon.